Ok, kali ni kita akan tengok how to solve quadratic equation using the method of completing the square and formula. Alright, so once again, ok you kena faham bila soalan kata solve, ok maknanya you need to find the roots of the quadratic equation. Ok, roots itu adalah values of the unknown or variable. Normally, uh, if let's say you have uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. Okay, bila soalan kata soft, maknanya you kena carilah value-value x di sini. Okay, so we have um, four method to solve quadratic equation. The first one is factorization method. This one you have learned before. And then, uh, yang guna calculator ni uh, adalah nak check lah. Lebih kepada nak check. Ataupun reverse process. Kita buat reverse process of factorization. Okay, and then computing the square and using quadratic formula. Okay, kita tengok one by one. Kita start dulu dengan factorization. Okay, before this, you have learned how to solve quadratic equation by using factorization method. Alright? Okay, for a quadratic equation in the general form that can be factorized, factorize it as a product of two linear factor. Okay, ni yang you buat sebelum ni. You guna kaedah ni. But before you start, always arrange your equation in general form first. Okay, then only you start uh, your working. Before this, you have learned you nak factorize, you buat kaedah ni. Okay. Uh, hari ni saya nak ajar you uh, how to use your calculator. Okay. Meaning, you buat reverse process lah. You dapatkan jawapan dulu. Then only you form the bracket. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see how to use calculator. Alright. To solve this quadratic equation. But before you start, always arrange your equation in general form first. So, for this quadratic equation, A is 2. B is negative 3 and C is negative 14. Okay, let's use calculator to solve this. Okay, kita akan dapat jawapan dulu lah. Okay. okay, let's see how to press calculator. Alright, so um, you can use your calculator to find the roots of quadratic equation. Press mood button 1, 2, 3 times. Okay, sampai you jumpa EQN1, press 1. Okay, and then replay button to the right. Uh, satu kali. And then, since now we have quadratic equation, so degree boleh choose 2. Okay, and then put in the value of A. So, here you have 2. Your A is 2. And then, press equal sign. Your B is negative 3. So, negative 3. Okay, and then equal sign. And then your C is negative 14. Press negative 14. Okay, then press equal sign. So, your first value is 3.5 and your second value is negative 2. Okay, you boleh recheck balik. Okay, when your value is in decimal, you cannot write your bracket as x minus 3.5 so you can convert pergi fraction uh, just press this button 3 1 over 2 or uh, 7 over 2 lah ok alright that is how you press your calculator um, selain kalau kita nak cepat lebih baik kita guna calculator kita ni uh, yang boleh bagi mudah kerja kita lah ok so tadi kita dah dapat jawapan when we press calculator kita dapat jawapan First value X kita tadi adalah 3.5 And then the second value of X is negative 2 Okay So kita nak buat apa sekarang The next one This value is in decimal So you jangan biar dia dalam decimal Convert pergi fraction It is 7 over 2 Okay then after this Let's form the bracket Okay how to form the bracket For this value Okay, you buat apa? You ambil 2 times x is 2x. And this is positive. Uh, bring to the left, dia jadi negative. 
So you have this Okay and this one Negative 2 bawa pergi to the left Okay dia jadi x plus 2 Equal 0 Okay now your bracket is 2x minus 7 And x plus 2 Equal 0 So actually kita buat reverse process Okay Okay before this You daripada atas Pergi ke bawah Kan you buat bracket dulu Then only you dapat jawapan But today You dapat jawapan dulu Then you patah balik Untuk dapatkan you punya bracket uh, Okay Okay when your answer in, uh, is in decimal You tak boleh bagi jawapan dekat saya uh, As like this You tak boleh bagi jawapan macam ni eh? Tak boleh salah You buat x minus 3.5 Because positif bawa sana jadi negatif Then you buat x plus 2 equal 0 So this one is not Tak boleh It's not accepted Ataupun maybe This one is a fraction You bawa pergi sana You tulis macam ni Minus 7 over 2 Plus 2 dalam bracket macam ni So ini pun tak boleh salah Okay so this is wrong lah This is also wrong Okay You kena convert dari decimal pergi fraction And then Okay Bawa one by one Okay so this is another example uh, using factorization method Okay, solving quadratic equations using factorization method So you boleh nampak all the steps here Your first step always arrange your equation in general form first See, okay from here become like this This is general form Ni pun sama Okay, you must write in general form first Then only step uh, factorization step Okay So dari sini Pergi sini Nampak Arrange dulu dalam bentuk general form Then only factorize it You can use calculator Buat reverse process lah Okay Okay next Let's see how to solve quadratic equations By completing the square Alright So the method of completing the square is used When a quadratic equation cannot be fat the rice. Okay, let's see how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Okay, first, uh, before I start, actually there are two methods to solve quadratic equations by completing the square method. Okay, uh, satu cara, okay, uh, saya akan tunjuk sekejap lagi. Lagi satu cara tu saya tak tunjuk. Uh, the second method tu you kena plus both side dengan b over 2 value Ok So saya tak guna yang tu Saya guna kaedah ni lah Ok Kita tengok how to solve quadratic equations By completing the square Ok Dengan menggunakan kaedah yang saya akan tunjukkan ni Ok First Always arrange your equations in general form first Ok Second um, Value A Make sure always positive 1 So here now a here means the coefficient of x squared right so to make it positive 1 coefficient of course we need to divide by 2 the whole side of the equation ok so here after you divide by 2 equation the equation become positive 1 x squared you see now the coefficient of x squared is positive 1 so first step Arrange in general form Second, make sure x squared Has positive 1 coefficient Okay Then divide by 2, 5 Okay, the third step Okay, the third step is Always take the value of B And then divide by 2 Okay, and then put in the bracket Okay So what is the value of B here? The values of B here is 3 over 2 Coefficient of X Okay So if the value of B is 3 over 2 B over 2 means 3 over 2 Divided by 2 become 3 over 4 Okay Value of B is 3 over 2 3 over 2 divided by 2 become 3 over 4 Okay 3 over 2 divided by 2 
nak senang bawa je tu naik darab kat sini jadi 3 over 4 ok ok so now after this right always open because the value of b over 2 tu you nak letak dekat dalam bracket ok so next step is always open 2 bracket 1 big 1 small ok kenapa nak kita nak buat macam ni sebab kita nak complete the square ok so you copy the variable here x whatever operation here you copy next ok b is 3 over 2 and then after divide by 2 become 3 over 4 so you write here 3 over 4 so the value of b is positive huh? so here is also positive value if the value of b is negative you write here negative value ok alright so minus 5 equal 0 ok actually uh, daripada step ini this, this step after you expand you akan dapat balik ni step kat sini maknanya kita sekarang buat proses uh, reverse lah ok uh, look at this formula if we expand this we get this right ok if we expand this we get this right? a square and then b square right ok a square B square And then 2 times A times B Then depends on the operation here Either plus or minus Ini yang kita Ini kalau expansion Okay Daripada sini pergi ke sini The step uh, Here to here Kita panggil expansion Okay sekarang ni yang kita buat ni Adalah proses daripada bentuk ni Kita tukar jadi bentuk ni so maknanya kita tengah buat proses completing complete the square lah. Okey kita tengah buat proses apa? Factorization sebenarnya. Ha, factorization. Right? Sebenarnya kita tengah buat proses factorization. So bracket ni Okey kalau you uh, expand Okey. Alright, you akan dapat balik benda dekat atas ni. Boleh cuba kalau nak cuba ok sebab ini x dia jadi x square 3 over 4 square 9 over 16 right tapi nanti you akan tolak dengan value dekat sini then finally you akan dapat balik negative 5 ok 2 times x times 3 over 4 ok 2 times x uh, the coefficient of x is 1 so times 3 over 4 cancel cancel dia akan jadi 2 3 over 2x ah, ni, ni dah dapat yang tengah ni right ah, ok so 3 over 4 you square kan dia ok and then you tolak balik dengan value-value yang ada di sini you finally you akan dapat negative 5 ok because 3, 3 over 4 square is 9 over 16 right how you get negative 5 so that's why you need to minus uh, this value and this value then you get negative 5 ok alright so Uh, dekat situ lah ok kita panggil uh, kita kata kita tengah buat proses apa complete the square ok next fourth step ok next adalah you solve yang belakang ni uh, salin so you, bila you solve yang belakang ni negative 9 negative alright 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 and ini boleh press terus press calculator ok bila you ambil calculator uh, negative 9 over 16 minus 5 ok you akan dapat negative 5.5625 ok yang sebenarnya dalam bentuk you can write in fraction So, kalau dalam bentuk fraction dia adalah um, apa tu 59 over 16 right negative 59 over 16 ok negative 59 over 16 adalah 89 16 5 80 89 over 16 
go zero. Okay. Okay, sampai sini Kita nak Soft Soft means we need to find the value of x So, kita kena hilangkan square ni So, cara dia kita kena square root Okay So, bila kita square root Kita bawa ni This value to the right So, dia akan jadi Okay, kita hilangkan square root Bila kita hilangkan square root, value on the right dia akan jadi 1 positive, 1 negative. Okay. Okay. Next. Positive bawa ke sana jadi negative. Okay, negative 3 over 4 plus minus square root 89 over 16. Ini you press calculator lah. First value. Negative 3 over 4 plus Plus huh? Plus Square root 89 over 16 Okay Soalan tak cakap nak berapa SF Normally Kalau dia tak cakap kita bagi Correct to 4 SF So yang ini value dia After you plus You akan dapat 1.608 Next, this one minus hmm, minus ah, okay minus. So the minus dia akan jadi uh, value dia after you press your calculator, you akan dapat negative three point one zero eight. Okay, okay. So your first step is. Arrange your equation in general form. Next, your second step. Make sure the value of A. Okay, the coefficient of x squared here is positive 1. So, how to make it positive 1? You must divide uh, the whole set dengan negative 3 lah. Okay. Third step Okay, so tadi first step uh, Arrange in general form Second step Make sure coefficient of A is positive 1 Third step Okay uh, Complete the square Okay, so complete the square uh, Buka dua bracket Satu besar, satu kecil Okay, copy variable and then copy the operation here the b right now is 2 is negative 2 sorry so and then you must divide the b uh, by 2 so 2 divided by 2 1 Here in the bracket Negative 2 divided by 2 Negative 1 Square Okay then you solve this Negative 1 square is negative 1 eh? Okay then Now This one you can press calculator Negative 1 plus 1 over 3 is negative 2 over 3. Now you can solve this. And then the square root there. Uh, eliminate the square there. Square root both sides of, of the equation. Then you are going to put a formula. So the first value is square root 2 over 3 sorry so the first value is negative bawa ke sana jadi positive 1 plus square root 2 over 3 and the second value is 1 minus square root 2 
number three because here you have plus minus so plus minus okay then you press calculator this value you akan dapat um, 1 plus 1 plus square root 2 over 3 1 point 8 1 ok so sekarang dia tak dicakap nak bagi berapa SF so biasanya kita bagi final answer kita for SF ok so 1.81 1.81 6 ok and this value is 0.1835 ok 